What is going on guys? It's Ben Levy, aka FiberDance2K, and we're back again with another video. I know it's been a little while, and I have a lot of explaining to do with what's been going on and all that stuff, but we do have some exciting news, and uh, let's get right into it. Right here is my 2023 manual Toyota Supra. So you guys might be wondering why the Supra out of all cars. And another question probably most of you guys are wondering, well, what about the S2000? What happened to the S2000? So as you guys may know or may not know, the S2000 had wide body supercharged. We were building the motor and we were starting to have a lot of complications when it came to building the motor. It was just not fun like going back and forth and we were having a lot of issues i i felt like i lost trust with that shop and it made it really really hard to continue with that build so i decided no, no hard feelings to that shop or anything like that they might be the best shop ever but maybe just not for me you know but i decided to take the car from there basically take a pause a halt on the build because i felt like i wasn't really like getting anywhere with it i was spending too much money on it basically and at the time, I didn't have a job or anything. My dad, uh, some of you guys may know, got me the car, was spending money in the car, and I just didn't want that to continue. I didn't sell the S1000, it will be back. I now have my own job that I'm working out. I told myself I will save up for that, and then we will continue that build again. But for now, I never really felt like I had my car, even since I got the S1000, because it was always in the shop, out of the shop, and it's more of a project car, not a daily. And I've always, always wanted a fun, reliable daily. That's where this beauty comes in i was fortunate enough to purchase this car it's been amazing obviously there's gonna be some hate for it especially knowing that i had s thousand but i'm gonna show you guys why i love this car so much why it's so great and the s thousand isn't gone for all the people that are wondering no it's not gone it will be back and it'll be so sick when they're side by side next to each other i think it's gonna be awesome the supra was what i really wanted because see, originally when this car came out 2020 i thought it was a very nice car i thought it was cool i didn't love the idea that bmw made it with it but slowly watching more videos on the car, seeing the car in person stuff kind of uh, built that up for me. But I never really thought of getting the car because I didn't want an automatic. As soon as they released the manual for this car, I was hooked. I was like, it, it's like something clicked in my brain and I'm like, oh my God, this is the perfect car for me. It looks good. It sounds good. It's pretty quick. Manual now. Now that I actually have owned the car for a little bit, uh, it's convinced me all the way. This car is so much fun. Um, so stock, I think this car looks really good. The wheels, the brakes, like I just really think it looks good as a stock car. It has like the lip kit already on it. Of course, you can always modify, make it look a little bit better. But honestly, they did a great job. I think this car looks absolutely beautiful stock, especially these new wheels. I didn't like the older gen wheels, but these wheels, I really think they look good. I want to actually keep them on the car for a while until I actually get new aftermarket wheels. Everything, literally the headlights, the taillights, shape like i just i really think they did an amazing uh, job on the outside of this car getting into the actual like driving of the car the sound of the car even stock i'll put in a clip of what it sounded like stock <laughs> some pretty good sound it popped a little bit it did have the pumped in audio though which i took out now and i'll, I'll show you guys kind of like the difference in that sound because it does sound a little bit different the drivability like how it actually feels and handles because i'm stock suspension right now stock all that and it's honestly pretty fun it is a little bit soft i'm used to kind of cars a little bit stiffer but it's really good i really do enjoy it i really do think it's an amazing daily it's super comfortable for me and then it's really fun when i want it to be fun as well a couple little things that i've done already i've had this car for about four to five months i got it in february and the first thing that I did, or not me even, it was actually my birthday, and uh, I mean, it's awesome, my, it was my birthday, my brother got me this carbon uh, spoiler, and I honestly think it makes the back look a lot better. I know, like, basically everybody has this, but it looks way better to me, makes it a lot more aggressive, beautiful carbon, Just it just looks good. The next thing that we did was carbon mirrors, and this actually my girlfriend got for me for my birthday, shout out to my girlfriend, she's filming right now, she's awesome, I love her, and um, I really, really like these mirrors i think they look very aggressive um the look has changed on it a bunch before it was just like a matte black uh but now we have like a carbon 
finish on it and it has like that M style on it. And I think it really does change up the look a bit on the car. I really do like it. I don't know if you guys can see this little thing right here, this little buddy right here. So I got that like one day after that I got the car. It's basically wind buffeting. It, it gets rid of the wind buffeting because this car has some terrible wind buffeting at first. <laughs> and next we have the tints. Now, oh, this is very like 50-50s. You either hate it or you either love it. I love it. I think it's badass. I think it looks cool. Um, and it actually does help with the Florida heat. So I think that's awesome. Obviously there's more cosmetic things I wanna do, but that's what I have so far for cosmetic. Let's get into the performance mods that I've done. Some performance mods, even though I don't have a tune or anything yet, I'll tell you guys about that stuff in a second. So let's get right into it. I haven't done a whole, you know, anything crazy just yet. And it's like a bunch of things and I don't plan on doing anything crazy yet, but so far we have the carbon HKS intake, which sounds absolutely nuts. It is so loud, actual spool, you can hear super loud. And then the blow up valve, the first time I went in the car and I heard it, I was like, this is crazy. Like, it was so, so loud. And then we have the mad five inch downpipe Catalyst, which sounds really good. It really woke up the car and gave it that, that like sound that it needed because it was very quiet stock. Not bad, but this is like what it needed at least for me for now it's it's perfect and uh obviously we'll get some sound clips in that i'll put in some sound clips right now <laughs> really changed the car for me and made it so much more fun you know i've been smiling the whole time while driving this thing it's really hard for me not to like put gas hear the turbo and all this stuff but yeah honestly when it comes to the sound the looks the drive like this car honestly 10 10 10 for me we're gonna go for a little drive now show you guys some of the sound reaction while i'm driving it yeah i hope you guys enjoy it. let's get this little mini cold start even though i already started it but you guys can still hear it let's get into it i want to start in comfort mode just so you guys can see how like well the car is like just daily drivable and then we'll go into sport mode and you guys will hear all that and you'll see that the car is very quiet with the downpipe even i do have the flap still because i have stock exhaust just like perfect normal car obviously you're gonna hear the turbo a little bit if i if i put gas so easy to daily drive super quiet very good over bumps and everything like right now we're in comfort the steering is super light it's just really really good to drive every day the manual transmission on comfort is it like actually changes i don't know what they did maybe with the clutch maybe with the transmission but it feels super soft so like just easy to use um it's pretty easy transmission to use in general there is one thing people don't talk about though but i kind of want to leave that for another video if you guys want but yeah the transmission super easy when you put it into sport i feel like it gets a little more rough you're gonna hear the exhaust a little more. You're gonna hear a little, bit, a little bit of those pops. But I like it. I don't think it's, the pops are different than the automatic pops. Like with the automatic, I feel like it pops a lot more. With this one, it's more up top and then like very little bit at low RPM. But we'll do a little a little driving with the, put them in this close and then we'll uh, open them up. how much you guys are gonna hear from the actual exhaust but the turbo is very very loud so kind of like you can hear it even way more than the actual exhaust but you will hear the exhaust here and there sometimes especially if you're like in an area where it's like the sound is bouncing off it's not crazy loud but I think it just sounds better like it sounds good Pretty quick even for being stock I'm with no tune I forgot to talk about that no tune right now because you have to actually unlock the ECU with this car and maybe in the future I'll do that but for now this is plenty this is fun for me all right let's roll down the windows it's gonna be a little bit more windy but you will hear the exhaust a bit more now I've 
seen, I've noticed a lot of people when they're in this car, or like when I've seen YouTube videos of this car, everyone shifts so slow. And I don't know why, I think it is a little harder maybe for people to shift faster with this car because of the clutch. It's a pretty long clutch and I think it gets a little bit used to when you're actually shifting fast, but I'm gonna get some fast shift for you guys. And yeah, let's get into it. We're waiting for this red light and we're gonna go. you guys heard a little bit i know it was a little bit windy and this car just kind of has that little bit of like a windy sound it doesn't hurt the ears anymore but it's a little bit windy but i hope you guys can still hear like the sound i want to do another pull just windows up i can be obviously like as like loud but you guys can still hear and so we'll do another play like I think it is perfect. I think it's like everything I've wanted. The turbo noises, like the, just the exhaust, the pops. It's so much fun to me. I know people are gonna say it's a BMW, whatever, but to me it feels like the Toyota really put in their part with it. And I really, I really like the car. like the S2000 where we kind of went all out, wide body and all that stuff. I want this to be a daily, I want it to stay reliable. And uh, I forgot to show one part right here. This is like what I mean when I say like OEM plus style, like adding into it like that, like little extra things. And I think that really is something like those little things are really nice. My girlfriend got me that one. She's super awesome. I really think those type of things is what I mean. Like the carbon mirrors, like those little stuff. I think it makes the car, it just complements the car. It doesn't really change it too much. Also, every time I like park this car and, and then just see it, and it's just like, to me, it looks so good. I absolutely love the color. Like the white looks so good, especially now you can feel the sun on it. Uh, the tints, when it's like this, like I think it looks so cool, so cool. The car is not clean right now at all. The wheels usually look better, but it, it's not clean right now. It still looks good, but overall, like the car, I just, I think it looks so good. All right, so finished up all those pulls for you guys. Now we gotta get some gas, so at least you guys can do is like comment show some love on the video subscribe to the video and um, let me know what videos you guys want to see in the future i want to do like things i love pov video maybe some races here and there see what this car can keep up with and then yeah just go from there so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like comment subscribe again and i'll see you guys next time